In earlier videos, I showed you how to build an open AI chatbot trained on custom knowledge and then how to extend it so the chatbot can invoke custom actions and features in our application. In this video, we'll take that further again and we'll see how we can control our chatbot with voice commands. This allows us to create an even more powerful natural language interface for our application. This video is aimed at developers. You'll need at least familiarity with building a web page using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS to be able to follow along. You can see a link to the example project we are covering at the bottom of the video. Again, we're gonna be skimming over many technical details so we can get right to the heart of it. If you'd like to understand the basics of building chatbots, please watch the previous videos. You can see links to those videos on the screen now. In this video, we're gonna be building on and extending that knowledge that we covered in those earlier videos. Let's take a quick look at the end result. This is my Wonderlust demo, and I've extended it to be able to respond to voice commands. I'm gonna ask the chatbot to perform some tasks on this map. Before we can speak to it, we need to allow the microphone. Take me to Brisbane. Place a marker on Mount Kutha. Zoom in closer so I can see the national park around Mount Kutha. You can see how I've been interacting with this map using just my voice. And you can imagine just how powerful this could be to interact with any application that you, uh, that you integrate the chatbot into. To be able to capture a user's audio and use it in our chatbot, we're gonna to need to go through the following steps. First, we need to request permission to use the microphone in the web browser. Once we have that, we have an audio stream and we'll create a media recorder around that. We're gonna collect the recorded audio as the user is speaking. Then we're gonna transcribe that audio to text using the uh, OpenAI API. And finally, we'll add that text to the chat thread, thus including the user's voice command into the chatbot's message thread. You might like to grab the example code for yourself so you can follow along and try it out for yourself. You can find the, the Wonderlust demo example in my GitHub account. Please download it as a zip file or clone the code repository to your local computer. Before we can record audio in the browser, we need to use the Navigator Media Devices API to ask the user's permission to record them. Once the user has approved the permission to use the microphone, we're given an audio stream we can then create our media recorder object, passing in the audio stream. We'll handle various events on our media recorder. That's how we know when data becomes available and how we know when recording has started and has stopped. To actually start the recording, we'll call the start function on the media recorder. During recording, we're gonna have uh, this data available event being triggered, and we can use that to collect chunks of audio as they're coming through. When the recording has stopped, we can combine uh, and process the audio chunks however we need to. Here, we're just simply combining them into one single blob of audio data. With the combined audio blob, we can then send it to the backend. So here we're making a HTTP POST request to the backend and submitting the audio to be processed. And now in the backend, we can actually send the audio to OpenAI for transcription. This will give us back the text of the audio. After we've got back the text, we can then add that text to our chat message thread. We've covered this uh, in previous videos, so we don't really need to talk about it again here, but we delegate that to a, a separate function called send message. And that's all we need to do to add voice command functionality to our application. I'm, I'm sure you'll be surprised at how simple it was. I'm, I certainly was. Please check out the live demo, try it for yourself and see how it responds to your voice. As always, there's so much more we can learn. I've provided some links here to the prior videos that explain some of the basics of making chatbots. There's a link there to the OpenAI documentation for, for creating transcriptions. And, uh, and if you want some help or want to learn more, want to talk tech, please reach out. Thanks for listening.